illegal immigrant, Luis Bracamontes, had been deported at least twice leading up to the 2014 shootings and could potentially get the death penalty if convicted. Pam Davis Owens is the aunt of one of the victims, Detective Michael Davis Jr., and she joins us now. Welcome, Pam. And, and let me Good first morning. say, I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you, Rachel. Um, you were like an aunt to him, I mean like a mother to him, even though you were his aunt. Tell us a little bit about him. Um, Michael was just a wonderful, wonderful person. He was a wonderful child. He was the most giving person. That if you needed help, you called Michael, and it didn't matter what he was doing, he would be there. Uh, and it didn't matter if it was an uh, inmate or if it was his best friend. He was there to help people. He was just great. Tell us a little bit about what happened that awful day. Well, that day he was working detectives, and there was a call for help uh, when Deputy Oliver was shot in Sacramento. And the suspect then, after shooting Deputy Oliver, he shot at his partner. Then he shot a citizen in the head, carjacked him, took his car, and fled northbound uh, Interstate 80, or westbound, north, uh, inter eastbound, I'm sorry, Interstate 80 toward Placer County. Uh, Placer County deputies were put on alert and Michael responded to help try and apprehend the suspect. Uh, up in, in the Auburn area, he was cornered and that's where he shot and killed my nephew. How did it make you feel when he said that, when Luis Bracamontes said that in court? I, every time I hear it, I, I'm so angry, my blood is boiling, I, I, I can't even start to explain how it, it makes a person feel. I, I really and to know that he's illegal. <laughs> well, and we're going to get to that because there's a lot of positive stories right now about DACA recipients, about DREAMers. Um, are you frustrated that there aren't more, more talk about stories like your, yours, that the media is not embracing a story like this? Absolutely, and that's why I'm so thankful for Fox, who they are talking about it. They are keeping this alive, and you know these are the people, the first line people who are here to help us are the officers, and our politicians, our, our lawmakers. They're doing nothing but protecting the folks that they're supposed to be keeping out of our country, and and when you have stories like this where officers are killed all of a sudden they, they're ignoring it completely it's it's just horrible well the tweet I I'm so grateful to, to the president I I love what he's doing I love what he's standing for he's been the first one to stand tall stand proud for all of our our first line persons in the military and law enforcement and I support him hundred percent and he is 100 percent right as the Democrats are, are, are playing they're playing with the lives of our citizens in order to, to stand on some ground for protecting illegals. And thank God for President Trump. So he, he wants to put up a wall. Do you sometimes think if there was a wall that maybe um, your nephew's life um, might not have been taken? I absolutely believe that he may not have been taken. And I definitely, the guy wouldn't have been able to come back so many times. Right. Uh, yes, I definitely multiple think times. it would. Yes. He yes. came across the border. Well, listen, Pam. Your story is powerful. Our hearts go out to you. Um, thank you for sharing it. I know it's painful. Um, really quick, one last thought uh, from, from you. Um, I know that uh, he may get life in prison. Um, he may get the death penalty. Do you have a preference? I want him to get the death penalty. And I want to be there and, and watch him draw his last breath. And I hope it's a painful, horrible one. Well, we can't blame you for that. Thank you, Pam, for joining us. Um,